Hey guys, I'm starting to move my <clears throat> my ants over from the test tubes over to the um, Tar Hill Ants Mini Hearth. And just wanted to give you kind of an idea how I've been doing that now. I moved a, a honey pot over last night and actually moved over quite well. And, you know, my past experience has been with, with this species is they're very stubborn and they don't typically um, uh, conform to my will very, uh, very readily. But I uh, found this go around or this methodology seems to be working. Um, so all I did was uh, fill up the, um, the water tower. As you can see there, a little bit of overflow, get a little bit of moisture going. And um, connect the test tube up. And what I've done is just using just a clamp I had around the house. Just to keep everything kind of lined up. Now I put a put a towel under the um, the test tube so that everything lined up very nicely with the um, the opening of the nest and um, I'm just gonna let them be so I did one yesterday and um, um, didn't really move over I, I had some light on it I took the light away just figured I'm not gonna stress the queen out any more than I need to with this one, as you can see, the water's <clears throat> almost depleted. Now, when I when I do my test tube setups, and most of you guys probably know this already, but um, I usually have it about two thirds full with water, and um, as the water depletes, it just sucks that cotton ball straight back. So, this one's got a good number of um, or nice size brood so far. So I thought, yeah, I better try to move her over and get her into the. Uh, a semi-permanent, no, not a permanent home, but a, a far superior home to the, the test tube, one where I can control the moisture and humidity a little bit better. Um, and based on the, the you know, the, this series of queens that I picked up, I put one of them in the, um, the, the mini hearth when I originally got, when I got my first mini hearth. And that one is actually the first one to produce a, um, you know, an egg dick. So, there's something to be said there that, you know, from the test tube setup, which has worked. I've used it. Lots of people have used it. But, um, you know, all things being equal, starting a queen in a test tube, starting a queen in a um, mini hearth. The mini hearth has proven to be, um, and again, there's other vari there's other variables, but it seems like um, the mini hearth has um, helped speed along the process. I'm going to move over to that one real quick just to show you. I looked at it this morning, and yesterday there were only... There were three ants total, one died, so two ants. I went over today and it looked like I counted five, so I'm gonna switch over there real quick. Okay, so this was the original mini hearth that I purchased. When I bought my Nucleus 2, just to kind of test it out. Or actually, no, this came free with the Nucleus 2. And, um,. I actually, I actually talked to uh, Mac and said, nah, you know, I, I don't really want one. Don't worry about it. And, you know, just give me a credit for it. No, it's free. Take it, Paul. And I'm glad I did because I've since purchased five more and uh, kind of, you know, kind of dig in the whole setup. So obviously there's a method to Mac's madness over there at Tar Hill Ants. But, um, yeah, this colony's doing good. You know, again, as you can see, they started out in the, um, as all my other uh, honey pots I collect this season, and they are by far doing the best. So um, there's uh, there's definitely something to be said about the the setup. So yeah, it's, and I'm hoping this um, setup will be conducive to replete. What's interesting now that I've I've had a couple successful honeypot colonies, how much really how much smaller the the first I mean I when I, I first got into this last year and you do hear that the Nenic Dicks, the first worker ants are much smaller for obvious reason. The queen's not uh, there's not enough not as much, you know, she's feeding it from her own fat stores. Um, you know um, metabolizing the, the wing muscles, but, um, 
So it makes sense that the first workers are going to be smaller than, than future workers when there's actual food being scavenged and uh, collected for the, the brood. But uh, comparing these to my other colony of, of honey pots, they are much, much, much smaller. So it's definitely more noticeable now I can compare it to uh, another species or another uh, colony of the same species, I should say. So forgive me, guys. It's, uh, it's early in the morning. I have not yet had my first cup of coffee, which is usually the first thing I do in the morning. But as is with <clears throat> my personality and ant keeping, first thing I did was ran out here to see how my ants were doing. And, uh, but uh, I always appreciate the, the views. And for those of you that enjoy these, please subscribe. It, uh, it definitely encourages me to keep making them. Thank you.